agrivoltaics. You may have heard this word a lot recently, and surely you'll be hearing a lot more in the coming years. No one can argue that the world is facing some big challenges, such as climate change, a growing population that needs to be fed, and limited land to grow food. Fortunately, this new approach that is being promoted recently can fix all of the above challenges and could provide the solution that we are looking for. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what agrivoltaics is, how it works, and why should farmers embrace this technology. By the year 2050, the population is expected to reach 9.7 billion, and to feed everyone, global food production will need to increase by up 70% in the next 30 years. According to the World Bank, agriculture accounts for more than a third of all human-induced greenhouse gas emissions and consumes about 70% of all freshwater withdrawals. In another hand, rising temperatures and frequent droughts caused by global warming are making traditional farming methods more inefficient and unpredictable. In order to survive, the farming industry has to figure out how to face these challenges. One way to do that is by combining food production with energy production or agrivoltaics. By pairing solar panels with farmland, farmers can increase productivity, use less water and take advantage of clean, renewable energy. Agrivoltaics, as you may guess, is the use of land for both agricultural and solar photovoltaic power generation at the same time. It's a symbiotic relationship where crops and solar panels benefit from each other to perform better. A standard agrivoltaic solar system consists of crops planted underneath or between ground-mounted solar arrays. The panels should be installed high enough to allow farming machinery to pass underneath. But don't plants need light to survive? How can crops grow in the solar panel shade? That is a fair question, but agrivoltaics enthusiasts have the answer. Well, of course, plants need sunlight for photosynthesis, but it turns out many crops don't need as much sun as you think, in fact, there's a limit to how much sunlight can a plant actually use. This limit is the light saturation point. Once reached, any extra light beyond that point does not help the plant's photosynthesis or the growing process. On the contrary, the extra light increases plants evapotranspiration, which makes them consume more water than needed. So by carefully positioning solar panels, and allowing the right amount of sunlight for the crops, we can reach optimum plant growth with minimum water consumption. And the excess sunlight can be harvested with solar panels for electricity. It's like harvesting the sun twice. Currently, there are three standards modules of agrivoltaics that are in operation vertical double-sided solar panel with space between for crops, stilted solar arrays above crops, and greenhouse solar arrays. Some more advanced versions of agrivoltaic systems feature a tracking system to automatically optimize the position of the panels in order to increase electricity and crop production. The Swiss manufacturer Insolite is offering transparent solar modules with built-in tracking systems that enable the modules to remain static. The module uses lenses to focus light onto the solar cells, and a dynamic light transmission system to adapt the quantity of light transmitted to crop needs. Why would farmers choose agrivoltaics? Before we answer that question, if you liked the video so far, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates, and please give us your thoughts in the comments section that will mean a lot. Farmers can benefit from agrivoltaics in various ways, immediately and in the long run. Let's explore some of the reasons why farmers might want to convert to this new system. Lower electricity costs. On average, electricity bills account for 1% to 6% of farms' operating costs. So by installing solar panels, farmers can reduce significantly their costs. And any extra energy can be stored in a battery or sent to the power grid for extra income streams. Increased crop production and sustainability. By harvesting the sun twice, agrivoltaic farms can produce crops and electricity, making the farmland 70% more productive. We mentioned earlier that plants don't have the same sunlight needs, in fact, recent studies have shown that certain crops thrive when grown in shaded areas. Plants like spinach, lettuce, carrot, and peppers can actually benefit from the agrivoltaic systems. In a study conducted by the University of Arizona, tomato plants and agrivoltaic systems produced double the yield of the control group, using less water. Another interesting aspect of agrivoltaic systems is how big plants' leaves can get in shaded areas, in fact, leaves tend to spread to capture more sunlight which makes for a bigger leaf. And that's great because if we are harvesting leaves for food, like in the case of alfalfa, we want a larger plant. Increased Solar Power Generation Agrovoltaic systems are not a one-way street. It's a symbiotic relationship between crops and solar panels. 
the plants beneath the solar panels create an ecosystem that keeps the panels cool which makes them more productive. A study conducted by the University of Oregon found that solar panels produced up to 10% more electricity in agrivoltaic systems. Agrivoltaics is one of many approaches to facing modern life challenges. It combines solutions for the three most foundational elements of modern life, food, water, and energy. Studies and early implementations have shown that APV technology is very promising and it can be the way to go for productivity and sustainability. Now if you have other comments and observations about this subject that you think would be constructive and helpful, then dive down to the comments section below and leave your thoughts there. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell.